I remember exactly where I was at. You know, my friend Nate Wessel called me, and he just says, do you want to go to Iraq? I don't claim to be educated on this stuff enough to understand all the reasons we're here, or the whole purpose behind the war, or everything that we're doing. I voluntarily go into a war zone, and my girlfriend, she gets really nervous when I go out there. My mom and dad, they can't wait until I tell them I'm back on American soil. I had no idea the effect it was gonna have in my life. It was a real wake-up call for me. The experience is just epic beyond belief. Aboard your flight to Baghdad tonight. If you're going somewhere else, you're on the wrong plane. In the event of an emergency, the air that requires us to don oxygen, your oxygen sitting behind you in the green bags. At this point, please make sure your seatbelt's fastened and try to enjoy your flight. Christian Schaaf had this really cool idea to take action sports over to Iraq and bring it to the troops. We go on these 10-day missions, basically, to put these shows on for these guys. We don't have any tools with us. Like, we basically flew in in Blackhawks, and I'm like, whatever I can make happen, I'm gonna do it. The toughest thing is, like, you never know what material you're gonna have when you show up at the next base. They say they have everything. You get there and you're piecing things together just to make it happen. Shit is hosed like normal. No compressors, uh, no power. Wood that I have laying behind me is some Iraqi three-quarter. I basically was able to just pull it apart with my hands. Sweet. It's not even usable for transitions and stuff. I had a guy take me here on base somewhere and we found some proper three-quarter. I mean, we only have six hours to build these things, then we got a rod. We don't have the time to screw around and go, oh, do we have this, can we find this, let's just wait. No, we have to start immediately on every single base that we go to. You know, the first uh, show that we did, pretty much passed out, almost twice working. It feels like I have an exhaust pipe directly right here on my face, so pretty sweet. And it feels like a hair dryer in, uh, you know, in the middle of a bonfire. Like, I can't believe I'm in here right now for this. I think it's just the humidity, maybe. I sweated so fast I couldn't drink enough, you know? You put a bunch of water in that stuff and it stays in there for a while and keeps me cool. Oh, you drink like 10 of these in an hour sometimes, you know? Like, depending on how much you're sweating, it's crazy. And I feel like there's no way in hell that I'm ever gonna ride my bike by the time it gets to the show and we're done building this ramp setup. That, I don't know, something just like, takes over me and then I'm able to ride. Build all day and uh, work ourselves to death and then ride in the show. The things that these people say to you and the, the difference that it seems like we make for these folks, there's nothing more rewarding. A soldier came up to us and said, that was incredible, you know, uh, for the last hour of my life I forgot that I was in Iraq. And, you know, that was to us, like, we were instantly, like, mission accomplished. Now we're gonna go over and detonate bombs. You just pack this shit in. How do we put a fucking target right there? Who wants to put the suit on and have a German Shepherd chase you down? Riding in Black Hawk helicopters while a pretty, not just a girl, but a hot girl is shooting a 50 caliber gun out the side. <laughs> That's how a wall ride's done in Iraq, boys. One unforgettable moment was grinding down a handrail in Saddam's palace. Arrest the individuals and take them away for questioning. We have a witness, one of his witnesses, saying that uh, they saw you riding around in our restricted area. We love our freedom, but we understand that you guys are fighting for it every single day. And while we're in the middle of our show, and we're having a good time, three guys lost their lives, you know? I'm driving hell on wheels. I drove a tank. They don't know me. I could have just pinned it and drove through a building. 